Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit PNG photos in Canva Pro. Before we go any further, you do have to have the Canva Pro for this to work. You can't use the free Canva to edit uh, the PNG files like I'm going to show you. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, these are the two files that I've edited. I got this one, it said Kindergarten Teacher. And I got this one that said, oh, Christmas tree. And here's how I've edited them. This one, I took out kindergarten and I put in third grade. And this one, I took out this, oh, Christmas tree and just left it as the tree itself. Now, these are PNG files. You shouldn't be able to edit them like this. Um, they're not SVG files. So I've got a hack that I'm going to show you what to do. First of all, let me show you where I got these files. So I got them from Creative Fabrica. These are the two we're using and they came from Bebo Designs. Let me just click into her shop here. And you can see she's got tons and tons of designs. But I'm going to narrow this down to teacher and show you why I needed to make the edit. Okay, so here's all of her little Apple Pencil teacher arrangements. This was the one I wanted. But she only has this style with this like purple pencil that says kindergarten. There weren't any other grades on there. And the same like this one, it just says first grade. There's no other grades on there. So I had to do some editing. Now I will link to these exact files if you happen to really like them. But I also want to show you that if you use the link that I've got here, you can get this special promotion that Creative Fabrica is offering. Um, you can download, if you click start downloading, you can sign up for free and you can get your first 10 downloads for free. So just click the link, you'll come to this page, start downloading, it'll ask you to sign up for free and then you can go pick whatever files. You can grab the ones that I just showed you or you can hop on over to the main page of Creative Fabrica and just kind of take a look at what they have available, their fonts, graphics, SVG files, Canva templates, um, Photoshop templates, all kinds of stuff that you can get from Creative Fabrica. But we're going to hop back over here to Canva now, and I'm going to show you how I did this. So here we are in Canva. I'm going to uh, make a new page down below so that we can kind of start from scratch. And I've got my screen kind of zoomed in. Let me do unzoom. Okay, so hop over to Creative Fabrica, get whatever file you want. I do want to mention this won't work with every single PNG file, and you'll see as we're going how it works and what you can and can't use it with. But you'll grab your file, you'll download it from Creative Fabrica, and you will upload it into, um, into Canva. So I have the files here, I've got them already uploaded. If you don't know how to upload, you'll just click this upload files, and you can go and search for whatever file you want to upload. Okay. Let's do the easiest one first. The Christmas tree is by far going to be the easiest. So I've clicked it, I've put it into my page and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, here we are, oh, Christmas tree. Now, as we are here, there's no editing that you can do. If you wanna get rid of these words, you know, you could try to slide this in, but if I slide in any more, I'm getting rid of half of the tree as well. So that method is not going to work for me. Come hit edit image. And you've got some stuff you can do here with, you know, color and filters and that kind of stuff. But that's really not what we're looking for. We want to delete those words. You need to use the free background remover that's free with your pro account. So just click into the background remover. And I know you're thinking, well, it's a PNG. It doesn't have a background. If you click into it, you're going to get these extra tools, and this is what we need, these erasers. So click Erase, and you'll see you kind of got a brush size that you can pick from. If you come over here, do you see this little circle? This is my brush size. I can make it bigger. See how it's bigger now? Or I can make it smaller. Now it's teeny tiny. 
So I'm just kind of going to go with a medium, hold your mouse down, and just run it over everything that you want to erase. Now, as you get closer to the tree, you may want to lower your brush size just so that you don't accidentally delete any of the tree itself. So I'll just continue in. I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger so you all can see up close what we're doing here. Okay. Just delete every little thing that you don't want to be there. Let me zoom back out, make sure I got it all. Yep, that looks good. When you are done, you click done, and that's it. I have now removed, let me go back up to the original one, bring it down here. I have now removed the words from the side of the tree. So that's one of the easiest things that you can do. If you're just looking to delete some words and they don't, completely overlap your photo, you're good there. You can just use your eraser tool and delete them. Okay, let's do this little apple next. Okay, this one is a little more complicated because you can see the words I want to delete are in the middle of my photo. So when I do this magic erase thing, it's going to get rid of everything inside of here. That's okay though. Let me show you what we're going to do. So edit image background remover, click the erase, and again I'm going to make this bigger so y'all can really see. Now I am going to lose this white squiggly stuff, but that's honestly fine with me. I wasn't really a fan of that part anyway. So just come in here and start erasing. Okay, I made a little mistake. I went up too far. So I'm going to have to cancel and do it again. So make sure you're being careful with what you're doing and size down on your eraser if it's too big. If you're afraid that you're going to lose some of your design because it's just too close to the edge, size down your eraser. All right. Okay, it's all erased. Now I can hit done, can zoom back out. So you can see the middle of my apple is completely missing, but that's okay. I'm going to hit apply. I'm all done. And now I'm going to come up into my elements and I'm just going to grab a circle. And I'm going to fill the spot with circles. I'm just going to duplicate and keep filling until this whole red, or until this whole um, space that I have deleted is filled up with pink circles. These circles could be whatever color you want, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna change their color in a minute. Okay. So now that whole spot is filled up. What I need to do is make these circles the same color red as the apple. And that's easy to do with Canva. Click your color box. And if you'll notice here, it says photo colors. These are all of the colors that are available within this photo that we uploaded. If we click this red, it's going to be the exact same red as my apple. So I'm just gonna turn them all that color of red Okay, now I'm going to click on my apple and I'm going to move it to the front so that all of those little circles went to the back. Okay, something I didn't quite delete all of the lettering right there. Just be careful when you're doing yours to make sure you get rid of all of your lettering. I was trying to go in a hurry and some stayed there, but that's okay. Okay, so now we've got the apple with our words deleted. We've filled in the big space that we made in the middle. Let's group all of this together. You see that's where all the little circles were. If I hit Control G, it'll just become one image and I can now size it with everything staying together. I can come in now and type in my own words. So for this one, I went with this fun little um, 
kind of writing paper, you know, like they have when they're the little guys and they're just learning how to write. If you're adding words to a design that already has words, you need to be careful with your fonts. Don't try to find a font that's similar to what's on there. You're, you're probably not going to find what's exactly on the design already. And if you get too similar, it's just going to be off. It's going to look like you have messed up something. You couldn't remember what font you used. So if it's a print font, you want to go for a far different style of print font. Or you want to go for a script font. If it's a script font that's already on your design, exact same thing. Go for a print font or go for a far different style of script font so that you're not clashing. You're working with the design that's already there. You're not clashing against it. All right, so I'm just going to type a T on my keyboard and it will pull up a text box for me. And let's see. We're going to type the third first. You can make this whatever grade you want. In fact, let's make this first grade first. And now I'm going to come and change the font. The font I used is this KG Primary Penmanship. I love it because there are different styles of it. Let me show you. So it's got dots where, let me make this bigger so you can see it. So it would put the whole word into these dots. It's got just the plain text. It's got dots on the lined paper, and it's got solid text on the lined paper. And I've used a combination. So I'm going to put first in this one, and then type a T, uh, capital G, and change the font of this to the one with the lines. And size it up. so that it takes up all of my apple. Make this first a little bit bigger as well. Okay, and now we have first grade. So that's a really easy way that you can edit already existing PNG files if you're just making some small edits, you're not trying to change a whole bunch of stuff, you just kind of want to change up some wording or delete some wording, that's an easy way that you can do it. Um, again, it's not going to work on every file. It would work great on these files. We could just delete pizza and valentine. It would not work well on, let's see here. It would not work well on this file, and let me show you why. If I go in to delete all of this lettering, I'm going to have to delete some of my design. And with the style of this design, how it's got this kind of cowhide and all these other things going on, I wouldn't be able to fill in the part that I've deleted. It's not just one solid color. It's a lot of texture and color going on in that background. I wouldn't be able to replace that. This one, however, if I wanted to delete the lettering from this file, I could do that easy, easy, easy. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.